Do you want to learn how to prepare your digital artwork for printing at home? In this step-by-step -step guide, I show you my process for printing my digital artwork to sell in my shop. The first step is setting up procreate for painting. Since my biscuit print size is A3 and then it's scaled down to A4, A5 and A6 for mini prints. I always set the canvas size to 11.69 by 16.54 inches, which is equivalent to A3. This is cute that my paintings are created at the, the highest resolution and can be easily scaled down for smaller prints. important to set the color profile to CMYK and the DPI to 300 or 350. This ensures that your artwork is created with the correct color settings and resolution for optimal printing quality. If you're concerned about the RGB display for showcasing your art on website and social network, there's no need to worry. You can simply create another artboard in Procreate with an RGB color mode. Copy and paste your artwork into this artboard and make any necessary adjustments such as lowering the saturation or tweaking the color slightly. This way you can have separate versions of your artwork optimized for both print and digital display. By setting up Procreate correctly, you can guarantee that your artwork is created with the highest quality and is ready for printing. When it comes to printing on A3 plus paper side, I have a specific process that I follow. First, I export my artwork at a JPEG file from Procreate. Then I edit the template in Photoshop to match the dimension of the A3 plus paper which is 13 by 19 inches. However, I want to print my artwork in A3 size, so I set up the Photoshop canvas size to be exactly 13 by 19 inches, with the actual art size inside being 11.7 by 16.5 inches. This allows for a small margin that I can trim after printing. It's important to create this template in CMYK mode with a resolution of 300 dpi to ensure accurate color presentation and optimal printing quality. To make the curtain process easier, I create a light gray grid outline with the end of the artwork in Photoshop. This serves as a guide for cutting, so I don't have to manually draw the line later on. It stay time and ensure a clean and precise cut. Here's a bonnet tip. To save paper and minimize wet, you can set up additional print sizes within the A3 Plus set. For example, you can fit two A4 prints or three A5 prints on a single A3 Plus set. This way, you maximize the use of your paper and reduce unnecessary wet. One of my favorite paper to print on is Epson Fire Arts paper. It offers exceptional quality and durability that surpass other papers I have tested. When comparing the color of my art on the iPad screen to the prints, the difference is truly remarkable. Other paper often fall short, either rendering the color too dark or creating overly bright neon tones that detort the artwork.
However, with Epson Firearms Paper, I am constantly amazed by its ability to faithfully capture the vibrant colors and intricate details of my digital artwork. The print reflects the same level of vibrancy and detail that I see on my iPad screen, if not better. The Epson SP15000 is a fantastic option for artists seeking to enhance their printing capabilities without breaking the bank. It offers remarkable value for its price, delivering vibrant and crisp color prints across various sizes. What set this printer apart is its ability to handle A3 plus paper and custom paper sizes up to 13 by 44 inches, providing artists with flexibility and versatility. What is compact design? It is a practical and cost-effective solution for artists working in small home studio or office. To optimize your printing experience and save on cost, I recommend using the 312 and 314 in cartridges for this printer. The XL version provides 2.5 times more ink than standard cartridges, allowing you to print more without frequent replacement and reducing overall expenses. When it comes to setting up my printer for printing on Epson VFS by Art Paper, I have discovered a combination of settings that consistently deliver outstanding results. Here's how I optimize the printer setting to ensure the best print quality. Remember, it's essential to experiment with different settings and paper types to find what works best for your specific art style and reference. Don't be afraid to adjust the setting and make test print to fine-tune your results. With practice and attention to detail, you can unlock the full potential of your printer and create breathtaking prints that showcase the beauty of your artwork. Printing art at home is a truly rewarding experience. With the right tune settings and attention to detail, you have the power to create journey prints that rival those found in galleries. I hope this video has provided you with valuable insights and step-by-step -step guidance on how to achieve exceptional results. Remember, the key to mastery is practice. Don't be afraid to experiment refine your technique and explore new possibility. Your journey as an artist is filled with endless opportunity for growth and creativity. So embrace the process, enjoy the journey, and happy printing! I look forward to sharing more exciting content with you in the next video. Stay inspired and keep creating! Bye!